Okay, so maybe you're like me, and you have two, two computers. And maybe you're still like me, and you want to use them together as like a crazy monitor setup. And maybe you're like me, and you've seen a few Linus Tech Tip videos, and seen that Linus uses a, a piece of software called Synergy to sync the mouses. Then maybe you're like me, and you looked it up, and you found that it's $30, so you were, so you were discouraged from doing this. But you still want a free solution to it. Well, you've come to the right place, because I think I've got the piece of software for you. What's up guys, I'm Aaron the Tech Guy, and this is Barrier. Okay, let's get started right now. You, 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 first, you want to go to ba Barrier's GitHub page, which I will have linked in the description, and you want to download the appropriate files, so the DMG file for Mac, and the EXE file for Windows. Once those are downloaded, open them and set, the, set up both of them. I'm going to start with Windows. E even though it says don't run, you just click on more info and click run anyway. Setup beyond that is pretty simple. Okay, when you set up Barrier for the first time, I've set this up before, so uh, it already has my preferences, but I might ask you if you want to be a server or a client. Since I'm using my Windows PC as the server, meaning I'm sharing my PC's mouse to my Mac, I want to set it up as a server. And I also want to hit configure server. Now here, you can control where in, in position in relative to each other the computers are. So I have my MacBook right next to my Windows PC, so that is already okay. Now I'm, now I'm gonna set up the Mac. So I'm gonna go into my downloads folder, gonna open up Barrier, and now I'm just gonna move Barrier in to my applications folder. Now on Mac, setting up, setting up Barrier might be a little bit more difficult because the Mac OS has stricter policies. So I'm, I'm gonna go into system preferences. Actually not yet, I'm not gonna go into system preferences yet. I'm gonna open up Barrier first. And now you can see that Barrier is not allowed to open. So I'm gonna go into system preferences. I'm going to go into security and privacy. I'm gonna go into general and I'm gonna click open anyway. And open. Now, now you're pretty much good. Since, since I've used Barrier before, yes, I do trust this fingerprint. Since I've already set a Barrier before, it's going to automatically connect to my PC. But if it doesn't, you, you can look at the IP address on the server, which is up top over here, and you just put that into the server IP on the client PC. Now, since Barrier is already running, I, I'm okay. Now I can transfer my mouse between the two. So now let's change the camera angle so you can see what's going on. Okay, now that we've changed the camera angle, it's time to see how Barrier works and what its functionality is. So, I've got Barrier set up as I showed previously. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take my Windows trackpad, which is my server, and I'm just going to drag it over to my Mac. Now you can see that I'm not touching the Mac keyboard at all, and yet I am dragging Windows around, I'm doing stuff, I'm, I'm interacting with the Mac. Let's change desktops. Unfortunately, a, a limitation of barrier is that you did not get the full trackpad gestures. However, as you can tell, you do still get the two finger scrolling gesture, which is, in my opinion, the most important one. You also get keyboard input. So uh, let, let's go to so let's go to Spotlight. I know we type in Microsoft Word. I'm gonna create a document. And I'm going to start typing. This is a test of of it's really hard to type like this of barrier. I would say it's say it's ah say it's pretty good. Now here's the thing: you don't lose your regular. Trackpad. So now, now if I want to use my Mac, I can. Now I'm on the Mac. 
and you can just you can just use it. It works seamlessly. Now, now I'm, ba I'm back to Windows, and I'm using Windows just like a, just like if as if nothing happened. It it just works. And that's about it for this video. Barry is a very quick and easy way to share your mouse across multiple devices. It's not perfect, of course, and there are lags that you might not get with a more expensive software, but it's free. It's amazing, considering this is a piece of totally free software. You don't have to pay a single cent. And it's been great to use, because now I essentially have a triple monitor setup, and I can share my mouse across all these devices. It's fantastic. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. As always, you're watching Aaron, the Tech Guy.